Okay. I probably should have uh, started from the beginning, but fairly new at this kind of stuff. And uh, just trying to mount this Badland 2500 winch onto a 2019 Polaris 450. Um, so I had to take this grill off here. This cover. It's got uh, four screws. One, two, three, four. I just put the screws back in so I didn't lose them. Um, so I had to find this uh, actual mount uh, on Amazon. And I'll try to put the link to that in there. Um, <clears throat> so, and I screwed the solenoid to the top of the mount. Some self-tapping screws. Um, my only problem was these holes not being centered. I don't know if this is going to affect anything, but I had to shift this over. So this isn't centered with the mount because the holes were uncentered. Okay. Um, but I think we're good. So I was kind of struggling in the beginning on how to mount these and I'm watching videos and none of them was really clear cut. And I should have just made a clear cut video for everybody. But um, the actual winch slides into the mount and then the guide here you mount on the outside of the two you have your negative positive leads and then you run this up to the negative and positive leads on the top of the battery not the battery terminal itself the battery is there there's terminals here that you use for your connections for the mount. And these terminals are actually under this cover. And there's like four screws, one, two, three, four. Take out, pop this out. And the terminals are under there. So, okay. And then after you mount the hitch, you gotta take this little cover off here. And I hope it won't ruin the center because I shifted this over a little bit because these holes from the mount and the guide were in the center. But We'll see. One, two, three, four. That these get mounted into. All right. Strap them somewhere at all. We'll zip time. Line these holes up here. Put that. Bolt it in. Bolts in. One, two, three, four. I saw the mount right now. It's stable. knees down and run my wires <clears throat> run these up through the back of here <clears throat> to the 
top terminals. Okay, wires connected. <clears throat> Got the excess wire zip tied to the frame. Connected to my terminals. Just be careful when you're up here because you got your cooling line here and uh, make sure you disconnect the battery terminals first for connecting the wires or whatever. All right. This cover this box back on. Yeah, she's a little dirty, I know. My power washer is at another house. And me and my girl just came from riding. Up the Pocono area. We was out there for about a week. Well, well four days. Um, so I got the four screws to go back here. One, two, three, four. And then we gotta put this gasket goes around this goes back here and don't forget you gotta take this cover off here and uh, it's got two pegs here that gotta pop out I need to get a screwdriver or something pop them out of there I also just noticed that Cut this little section out here so I can put this whole thing back, but I'll just cut out this little grill section. Sorry for the damn sun up there, but it's real sunny right now. Looking good. Hey, OJ. Good. Stuck somewhere. 